Good morning. Today is Saturday in the 27th week of Ordinary Time. Our morning prayer begins on page 394. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Eternal Father of our mortal race, in Jesus Christ, your grace has come upon us. For his sake, prosper the work of our hands until he returns to gladden our hearts forever. Amen. Our hymn this morning, Christ whose glory fills the sky. Hymn number six, found on page 725. Christ whose glory fills the sky, Christ the true, the only light. Son of righteousness, arise, triumph o'er the shades of night. Day spring from on a high be near, day star in my heart appear. Dark and cheerless in the morn, unaccompanied by thee, joyless is the day's return, till thy mercy beams I see. Till thy inward light impart, glad my eyes and warm my heart. Visit then this soul of mine, pierce the gloom of sin and grief, Fill me, radiancy divine, scatter all my unbelief. More and more thy self-display, shining to the perfect day. Our psalm this morning is taken from Psalm 90. Lord, through all the generations you have been our home. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from beginning to end, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. For you, a thousand years are as a passing day, as brief as a few night hours. You sweep people away like dreams that disappear. They are like grass that springs up in the morning. In the morning it blooms and flourishes, but by evening it is dry and withered. We wither beneath your anger. We are overwhelmed by your fury. You spread out our sins before you, our secret sins, and you see them all. We live our lives beneath your wrath, ending our years with a groan. Seventy years are given to us, some even live to eighty, but even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Soon they disappear and we fly away. Who can comprehend the power of your anger? Your wrath is as awesome as the fear you deserve. O oh Lord, come back to us. How long will you delay? Take pity on your servants. Satisfy us each morning with your unfailing love, so we may sing for joy to the end of our lives. Give us gladness in proportion to our former misery. Replace the evil years with good. Let us, your servants, see you work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord our God show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Yes, make our efforts successful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is taken from the second letter of Peter. Dear brothers and sisters, work hard to prove that you really are among those God has called and chosen. Do these things, and you will never fall away. Then God will give you a grand entrance into the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. While I was still young, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. Before the temple, I asked for her, and I will search for her until the end. From the first blossoming to the ripening grape, my heart delighted in her. My foot walked on the straight path. From my youth, I followed her steps. I inclined my ear to receive her. I found for myself much instruction. I made progress in wisdom. To the one who sent her, I will give glory. I directed my soul to wisdom, and in purity have I found her. With her, I gained understanding from the first. Therefore, will I never be forsaken. My heart was stirred to seek her. With my tongue will I sing God's praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Give the world peace, Lord, still the clamor of war and the cries for vengeance. 
Let your church strongly proclaim your word. Let her speak of salvation and freedom for all who call on your name. Bless your people, Lord, and free us from false cares. Cultivate in us a sense of wonder as we behold the glory of your creative love, that we may be encouraged to answer the call of this new day. Have mercy on all who have died in your name. May they share in the peace of your kingdom forever. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you created us in your own image to find freedom in a love that knows no bounds. Lead us further today along this path of freedom to which you call us through Jesus, your beloved Son, our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun into its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. May souls the faithfully departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Have a blessed Saturday. Make today holy. Live in God's freedom. And love your neighbor as yourself. Amen.